Landslips have devastated parts of Auckland, which has endured two intense weather systems in as many weeks. Dozens of homes have been evacuated and destroyed after unprecedented flooding was exacerbated by Cyclone Gabrielle. Sky News spoke to a Murawai couple whose family made a lucky escape. This is the moment Jerry and Pat Henley returned home after an emergency evacuation the night before. Reviewed by a registered engineer. Their home was declared safe, so they invited us in. Inside, it was clear why they'd been evacuated. So I dropped straight, straight, straight down. Below them, Jerry pointed out several large landslips. It was scary, it definitely, definitely was. Jerry and Pat live in the cliffside town of Muriwai, west of Auckland. It suffered thousands of slips during Cyclone Gabrielle, including one that took the lives of two volunteer firefighters who became trapped in a collapsed house. It, d it does affect, and I think um, Andy got up a half an hour before his house was... Overcome with emotion, Pat tells us her nephew was in a similar situation but managed to escape with just moments to spare. They heard, they heard the creaking in the trees and so we've got to get out of here and they grabbed the, the, the child um, and what they had in their hands. Eventually, Jerry ventured back to see how bad the damage was. That was, uh, that was as far as I wanted to, to go. Roads leading to Muriwai Beach were cordoned off by police who denied entry to media. Sky News instead followed a steep path being used by evacuating locals beside the Henley home. Yep. The destruction was shocking. It was just devastating, you know, just ha how much mess there was and then having the clean-up uh, and how did those people get out. Landslips like this have been occurring quite sporadically right across the west coast just outside of Auckland. When that heavy rain falls, it means that the land becomes very fragile. In areas like this on hills and cliffs, it's usually OK, but in highly populated areas, that's when the situation becomes very dangerous, if not deadly. People forgot, I think, about 50 years ago and have built houses in a similar area. And so when the rain is like it's been, it compounds and it just pushes. The, the, the roots of the trees get all loose and, and over they go. The question now turns to how and if residents will even consider rebuilding. I think rebuild is out of the question. For now, the town is trying to come to terms with the shock. For it to go with such force, and um, this is this is unbelievable. In Muriwai, Jessica Maggio, Sky News.